In this video, I will take up the topic non-homogeneous system of equations. The system of equations given by x equal to b is called the non-homogeneous system of equations, where a is the coefficient matrix, x is the matrix of unknowns and b is the matrix of constants. The matrix given by a colon b is called the augmented matrix associated with the given system. This system has a solution means the system is consistent if rank of the augmented matrix equal to rank of the matrix A. Otherwise, the system is inconsistent. It doesn't have any solution. If rank of augmented matrix equal to rank of A and that is equal to number of variables, in that case, the system has unique solution. Means there exists only one set of solution. If rank of augmented matrix equal to rank of A and that value is less than the number of variables, then the system has infinite number of solutions. Let us take some examples. Solve 2x minus 5y equal to 11, 3x plus 4y equal to 5. First, to form the augmented matrix, the first row is the coefficients of first equation and the constant term 2 minus 5, 11, 3, 4, 5. Now, you have to reduce this matrix to the echelon form. So, the first non-zero entry of first row is 2. The element below 2 must be made 0. So, apply the, um, apply the corresponding uh, row elementary operation, elementary operation. That is, R2 changes to R2 minus 3 by 2 into R1. So, 2, 2 cancels 3 minus 3, it is 0. Similarly, 4 minus 3 by 2 into corresponding entry of R1 is minus 5. So, 4 to the 8 plus 15 is 23 by 2. Similarly, 5 minus 3 by 2 into 11 gives you 10 minus uh, 33 minus 23 by 2. Now, this is in the echelon form. Count the number of non-zero rows. There are two non-zero rows in the augmented matrix. Similarly, two non-zero rows in the matrix A. So, therefore, rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix, which is equal to 2, and in turn, that is equal to the number of variables. Hence, the system is consistent and it has unique solution. Now, how to get the solutions? Uh, form the equivalent system 23 by 2 into y is equal to minus 23 by 2 so cancels y equal to minus 1 similarly 2x minus 5y equal to 11 substitute the value of uh, y here 2x equal to 6 x equal to 3 now you plot this graphically you will get two lines intersecting at the point 3 comma minus 1 so solving a simultaneous system is nothing but getting the point of intersection in the case of r square when you have two equations in two variables then they are the two lines intersecting at some point or they may not be intersecting if they are not intersecting there is no solution if they are intersecting we have to get the point of intersection so 3 minus 1 is the point of intersection so that is algebraically here we obtain the value of x and y as 3 and minus 1 one more example this is an example in r cube solve the system construct the augmented matrix 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 1, minus 2, minus 7, 5, 3, minus 4, 2. That is third row. Now convert this to the echelon form. First row as it is. This is the first non-zero entry of the first row. This is the pivot of the first row. So elements below the pivot must be made 0. Apply this row operation. R2 changes to R2 plus 3 into R1. R3 changes to R3 minus 5 into R1. So minus 3 plus 3, 0. 1, minus 6, uh, 1, minus of minus here comes 1. 3 to the 6, uh, 1 plus uh, 6, it is 7, minus 2 and uh, minus 2 plus 3 into minus 3, that is uh, minus 9, minus 2, minus 9, minus 11. So, minus 7, it goes like this, minus 7 plus 3 into minus 1, minus 7, minus 3, minus 10. 5 minus 5, 0, 3 minus 10, minus 7, minus 4 um, plus uh, 5, 3 is a 15, minus 4 plus 15 is 11. And 2 plus 5 is nothing but 7. So now, this is the first non-zero entry of the second row. Element below the first non-zero entry of second row should be made 0. So it is R3 changes to R3 plus R2. So some minus 7 plus 7, 0. 11 minus 11, 0. And uh, uh, 7, this value is a 7 minus 10. This is minus 3. So therefore, 
You will now have to count the number of uh, non-zero rows in the augmented matrix. There are three. Number of non-zero rows in the matrix A, there are two. So, rank of A is two. Rank of augmented matrix is three. They are not equal. Hence, you won't get any solution. So, geometrically, when you plot these three equations in 3D graph, you will get three planes. They are intersecting, but uh, all the three planes are not intersecting at a time. So, these two planes are intersecting here. These two planes are intersecting here and uh, these two planes intersect here. But all the three won't intersect at a time. See, you can have uh, the same graph here, uh, just orientation is changed to make sure that there is no point of intersection. This is a point of intersection of these two lines and these two lines, uh, planes uh, pass through these two points, intersect these two points. But all the three together don't have any point of intersection, hence there is no solution. Similarly, one more problem. Solve the system. Construct the augmented matrix. Reduce it to the row echelon form. Now, you have to count the non-zero rows. There are two non-zero rows, which is less than the number of variables. Hence, you will get infinite number of solutions. So, 1, 2, minus 3, 1. 2, 5, minus 8, 4. 3, 8, minus 13, 7. This is the augmented matrix. This is the first non-zero entry of the first row. So, elements below the pivot must be made 0. So, R2 changes to R2 minus 2 R1 and uh, R3 changes to R3 minus 3 into R1. So, apply these elementary operations on the second and third row. We will get 2 minus 2 0 by minus 4 1 minus 2 plus uh, 6 minus, uh, minus 8 plus 6 minus 2 4 minus 2 2 3 minus 3 0 8 minus 6 2 minus 13 uh, plus 9, so that gives you minus 4, 7 minus 3, 4. Now again, this is the first non-zero entry of the second row. Element below the pivot must be made 0. So 2 minus 2, 0 and minus 4 plus uh, 4, 0, 4 minus 4, 0. That is R3 changes to R3 minus 2 into R2. So, therefore, you will get rank of the augmented matrix equal to rank of A, which is equal to 2, less than the number of variables, infinite number of solutions. Now, how to get those infinite number of solutions? Infinite solutions. The first column has a pivot, second column has a pivot, X column, Y column, Z column. Third column doesn't have any pivot, so this is a free variable. Now, take that free variable as arbitrary value T, then construct the equivalent system Y minus 2Z equal to 2 y equal to 2 plus 2z and y equal to 2 plus 2t. Similarly, x plus 2y minus 3z equal to 1. So, x equal to 1 plus 3z minus 2y. So, after substituting all these values, x comes out to be minus 3 minus t. So, solution set is given by all possible values of minus 3 minus t, 2 plus 2t, t. t belongs to r. Go on giving different values of values for t, you will get different solution sets. So, there are infinite number of solutions. When you plot this geometrically, you will get uh, the graphs like this. These are the three planes, as you see here. They will meet, intersect, the, all the three points, uh, planes intersect at this point. Actually, this is not just a point, it is along the line. This is the point of intersection along the line. So, there are infinite number of uh, solutions. This the graph is just to show that they intersect. So, here, when you look at this graph, they all meet along the line. So, every point on this line is a point of intersection. Hence, you will get infinite number of solutions. One more problem. So, I am not solving this problem, these problems algebraically here. I will just to show you the uh, geometrical meaning of uh, uh, these uh, geometrical meaning of these problems. That means when, what is the solution of these problems without solving them algebraically. So, algebraic part is left to you. So, solve the equations, given three equations now. See, now each equation, the second equation is a multiple of first equation, third is, equation is also multiple of first equation, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, means they all represent the same thing. Just algebraically, they look different, but geometrically, they all rep represent the same thing. All three planes are coinciding planes, hence every point is a point of intersection. 
you will get infinite number of solutions. Means you will get rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix and you will get this is less than the number of variables and uh, probably you will get there uh, exactly one pivot and two zero rows you will get because they can be they are the multiples of the first row so one pivot to zero rows here you will get so it has infinite number of solutions all the three planes are coinciding hence you will have infinite number of solutions now this uh, set of uh, equations so here in this case these two lines these two planes x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 1, x plus 3y plus 6z equal to 3. These are the two planes. And the third plane is a multiple of second plane. So, third plane and second plane both are coinciding. So, in this case, when you plot them graphically, you will get these two planes along the line of intersection. This is the line of intersection. You will have solutions. So, you will get infinite number of solutions. Here, in this case, there are two pivots and one free variable. In the previous case, there was one pivot and two free, two free variable. Here, there is a one free variable and two pivots in this case. And you will get infinite number of solutions. Because two planes are uh, coinciding and one plane, uh, two planes are coinciding. And the remaining plane and this the second plane will meet each other. If they meet, then only you will have a solution. In this case, they are meeting. Hence, you will have a point of intersections along the line. Every point is a point of intersection. Hence, you have infinite number of solutions. Now, third uh, set of equations. Now, look at these equations. The two planes are parallel and one plane uh, cuts these two planes. But they do not have any point of intersection, common point of intersection. That is because x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 1 and these two planes are parallel planes. They differ only in the constant term. And the third plane is some other plane. Now, these two planes are parallel planes and the third plane is the cutting plane that cuts both the planes. But they all together, means all the three planes won't intersect at a single point or uh, along the line. That is not happening here. Hence, you do not have the common solution. The system is inconsistent. No solution. You, if you Right. If you solve it algebraically, you will get rank of augmented matrix not equal to rank of Q. Now, in this case, all the three planes are parallel planes. Parallel planes, they never touch each other. They know, never intersect each other. Hence, you do not have any solution. So, by looking at the graph of these equations, you, will, you can say that there is no solution. So, uh, rank of augmented matrix not equal to rank of Q, you will get if you solve this algebraically. Now, the fifth case is, in this case, here we have uh, two planes, two planes are parallel and a third plane is a multiple of second plane. Means the second and third plane are coinciding planes and the first and second plane are parallel planes. So it is same as the second case. Second case what you had is two planes were coinciding but there was a point of intersection because uh, the second and the first plane were meeting at some point. Uh, along the line. So, they, you had the infinite number of solutions. But in this case, what is happening is the first equation and second equation are parallel planes. Therefore, they won't be intersect. Though this uh, third equation is uh, coinciding with the second equation, third plane is coinciding with the second plane, you do not have any point of intersection as these two planes are now parallel planes. Hence, there won't be any solution. If you want to prove it algebraically, construct the augmented matrix like this. Reduce it to the echelon form. Now we got that rank of augmented matrix is equal to 2 because 2 non-zero rows and rank of A equal to 1. Ranks are not equal. Hence, the system is inconsistent. So, these are all examples uh, where you had uh, three equations and three unknowns, two equations and two unknowns. Now, here you have uh, four uh, unknowns and uh, three equations. So, now if you want to solve geometrically, we can't do this uh, because it is uh, more than three-dimensional. So, we have to form the augmented matrix 1, 2, minus 3, 4 and 2, 2, 5, minus 2, 1 and 1, 5, 12, minus 7, 6 and 3. So, construct, uh, after constructing the augmented matrix, reduce it to the echelon form. R2 changes to R2 minus 2 R1. R3 changes to R3 minus 5 R1. So, you have 2 minus 2, 0. 5 minus 4, 1. Minus 2, um, minus 2 plus 6 uh, is 4. 1 minus 8 is minus 7. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. 5 minus 5 is 0. 12 minus 10, 2. This all comes by practice. Minus 7. Minus 7, here comes uh, this minus 7, 
minus 5 into minus 3, 15 minus 7, 15 minus 7 is 8, then 6 minus 20, that is uh, minus 14, 3 minus 10, that is minus 7. Now, once again, you have to reduce it to the clone form. This is first non-zero entry of the second row. Element uh, below the um, first non-zero entry should be made zero. So, R3 changes to R3 minus 2 into R2. So, 2 minus 2, 0. 8 minus 8, 0. Minus 14, minus, uh, minus of minus. So, plus 14 equal to 0. Minus 7, um, minus 7, plus 6, minus 1. So now when you count the number of non-zero rows in the augmented matrix, there are three. In the matrix A, there are two. So ranks are not equal. Therefore, the system is inconsistent. You do not have any solution. The fact is that here, though M is less than N, there is no guarantee that the solution exists. But in the case of homogeneous system, if M is less than N, then the system is always consistent. It has infinite number of solutions. But that need not be true in the case of non-homogeneous system of equations. Now, the last problem, solve this system. Here you have five variables and the three equations. Form the augmented matrix. 1 minus 3, 2 minus 1, 2, 2. 3 minus 9, 7, minus 1, 3, 7. 2 minus 6, 7, 4, minus 5, 7. So, R2 changes to, these are the operations, R2 minus 3, R1, R3 changes to R3 minus 2 into R1. So, first row, no change, second row, 3 minus 3, again the same way, minus 3, plus 9, 0, 7, minus 6, 1, minus 1, plus 3 is 2, 3, minus 4 is this, uh, 3, minus 3 to the 6, minus 3, so 7, minus 3 to the 6 is 1. Similarly, 2 minus 2, 0, minus 6, plus 6, 0, 7, minus 4, 3, 4, minus, minus of minus here. So, 4 plus 2, 6, minus 5, minus 2 into 2, that is nothing but minus 9, 7, minus 2 into 2, that is a 3. So, now once again, this is the first non-zero entry of the second row, element below which has to be made 0, therefore, R3 changes to R3 minus 3 into R2. So, no change in the second row, no change in the first row. 3 minus 3, 0. 6 minus 6, 0. Minus 9, plus 9, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. Now, you have to count the number of non-zero rows in the augmented matrix. There are 2. In the matrix A also, there are 2. Therefore, which is less than number of variables, infinite number of solutions. Rank for rank of augmented matrix equal to rank of A. So, the system is consistent and it has infinite number of solutions because rank is less than the number of variables. Now, you have to count the free variables. Which are the free variables? First column has a pivot, third column has a pivot and uh, yes, no other columns have pivot. So, X1 and X2 3 will have pivot, x2, x4 and x5 are free variables. x2, x4, x5 take them arbitrary values. Now construct the equivalent system x3 plus 2x4 minus 3x5 equal to 1. So from this you will get x3 equal to after doing all these uh, rearrangements, we will get 1 plus 3c minus 2b. Similarly, the first equation x1 minus 3x2 plus 2x3 minus x4 plus x5, 2x5 equal to 2. So, after simplifying, that means substituting and simplifying all these values, uh, you can check x1 comes out to be 3a plus 5b minus 8c. So, this is the method of solving non-homogeneous system of equations. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching.